Uh, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shy, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shy, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shy. All praise unto Yah by Shimei Howl Shy, Baha Brock Hakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Honestly, brothers, I'll be pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So I wanted to do this video right here, um, going into the uh, times and the seasons that we're in right now. And uh, pretty much, you know, this ain't no time to be um, having a, a low level uh, amount of faith. Okay. Um, um, matter of fact, if I, you know, I'll, I'll read, let me read the scripture first, but, you know, my mind's, you know, just take thought about this. The spirit really wants this to go another way. So I, uh, I'll read this scripture here because this is, no, I can come back to this. Okay. So this ain't no time to be, you know, really be having a low uh, uh, vibration. Okay. Really. You know, we're, we're at the door, okay, we're at the gates of mercy, okay, and the um, reward, okay, for the works that we have done on this on this side, okay, and the, uh, uh, the, the reward, uh, 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 um, okay, that, that, that the moral side said he was going to bring unto his people, that's basically getting, being prepared to be manifested, okay, you're seeing all of these wars uh, popping off all over the place, and, um, you know, the prophecies are just becoming, you know, evident, okay? There ain't no need to go into, you know, uh, some deep blue web, okay, and find some, uh, you know, uh, article to try. No, the, the information is there, okay? So it's evident that we're in the last days of the last days, okay? So it really is, this is a time when you want to have your faith rooted and booted in your house. Right? Doth not the scripture say within the book of Isaiah, what is it, the 33rd chapter on the 6th verse? I believe that's the scripture, how that... um. Um, that faith was going to be the what? It was going to be the um, uh, stability of that times. Okay? So you gotta, you got to have a certain type of mentality of, of, of which, you know, you're going to be really tried in these times, okay? Because you got vessels unto honor. you got some vessels of dishonor. you got to have stuff that's going to burn within the fire, man. And as we get closer and closer to this thing, okay, the most side is going to put you through certain things where, you know, you're, there's going to be a trying of your faith Okay, to make sure you're gonna be rooted and booted. Really, it's not even a trying. Of, when, when people say that, see, uh, uh, say that trying, they just hear the, the bit where it sounds difficult. But really, when you're talking about trying, okay, and you're going to uh, 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 forging metals and so on and so forth, when you're trying a piece of metal, although you're afflicting that piece of metal, what you're doing is you're making it hard, man. Okay, now if that metal's got some impurities in there, that's when it's gonna smash. So when, we, when you hear the statement, the trying of your faith, what you should be thinking in your mind is that the moral side is making you hard for the particular situation that you're going to be, that's going to be out there within your, uh, uh, um, in, in, in the future. Okay? The moral side is purifying you so you can understand. That, that's what, you know, that's pretty much in a roundabout way you can take the, um, the, the meaning of the word trying. Okay? Because you try a piece of metal, you're making that piece of metal hard. You're afflicting it, but really you're making that piece of metal like hard, man. You know, you ever see them old time movies and you got the smith and the smith's trying that piece of uh, uh, metal and he's making the sword. Well, he's got to go, the sword's got to go through that process to what? To be made hard, man. And the same thing applies to the men of the Lord. We got to go through the uh, afflictions to be made hard. Okay, like stones. Okay, so that when the time comes, you're going to be found uh, worthy. Now, like going back onto the statement of impurities, that reminds me of that scripture where it talks about how the, the most high can't tempt you. You know, whatever is in your mind to do, you're going to do that. Some people are going to do that. Okay, and if you don't have the mindness to decipher what times we're living in and you can't uh, uh, prioritize really the word, okay, because you're supposed to be prioritizing this word over and above all things. Remember, the, the, this is one thing I always try I always try to mention. Remember that the men of the Lord that was with at the time of your house, they actually have to give up their lives. They don't have to live stream. They weren't live streaming from, you know, you know downtown somewhere. They, they were with your house right downtown. And downtown wasn't down the road, okay? Downtown wasn't a, a, a flight away. Downtown was like, we're going to go on a ship, okay? We're going to go to another city, okay? And we might not be back. That was, that was the mentality them men were in. So we really, in terms of traveling and getting to the place that we got to get to, we really got to get easier. You got some cats falling out, okay? So this is the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter on the 14th verse. It says, stand there for having your loins girt, okay? And when you gird up your loins in the ancient times, you was getting ready for war. And what's the battle that you're going to fight? You're going to fight the spiritual battle, man, with demons, Satan. And really, that's the, the main battle, the, 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 the demons. 
And the demons will always come off of the impurities that you allow to have within your own mind. Okay, all the uh, weaknesses, all the doubts that you might have. Okay, and you let that doubt manifest. We're really in the times where you ain't supposed to be doubting certain things, man. Okay, now is the Most High going to have it to where he's going to work things out in his own time? Of course, that's what the Most High, he's got his own plan. <laughs> There's an old saying out there from the West Indies, the Most High proposes, and, uh, you know, sorry, rather more man proposes and God disposes. So there's a thing of the most is going to do what he wants, but at the end of the day, they ain't supposed to shake up your faith too much. You know, you're going to get shaken up with flesh. I ain't trying to pretend like I'm some tough dude out here with flesh, but you're supposed to come through that. And y'all about Shemiah al Shai Ra'aza, when the next time comes, because it, hey, it's surely going to come, man. Y'all about Shemiah al Shai Ra'aza, I'll pull through. Okay, so he says, stand there for having your loins girt, okay, with, with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shot with, uh, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So really, you know, the the, uh, um, the bit I wanted there is, you know, the breastplate having on. This, the, uh, sorry, let me read from above. So it says, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of your house, Shai, okay, whereby you are uh, able to withstand the evil days and have it done all to, all to stand, okay? And, and, you know, you get some guys, you know, they get shaken about a little bit and they haven't done all to, 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 to be in a position to complain or, have done all to be in a position of where, you know, they're just giving up, okay? You're supposed to go through above and beyond to make sure that your mind is right, man, okay? You're supposed to go above and beyond to make sure that what? That you're, you're, you're on point, man. You're, you're steadfast. You're grounded. You're, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're sturdy. That's the, that's the, that's the mentality you're going to be in. You're going to be in a mindset that, look, man, <laughs> whatever happens, you know what? Even in death, the Ahab Hashim is going to deliver. Because guess what? The scripture does require that for some people. Okay? And if that comes about, again, I pray Ahab Hashim al I take it as, 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 as a, a righteous man would, would take it. But we know also the people that were going to die for this truth, they was going to be what? They was going to be the first ones in them chariots, man, to enjoy uh, of the, uh, 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 um, the, the peace and the rest that comes with salvation. And then the rest that are, are, are on the earth, they was going to be caught up with them. Okay, let's go back onto this precept here, the book of uh, Thessalonians, uh, uh, um, um, the uh, first uh, fifth, uh, the first chapter and the fifth verse, uh, the first uh, first Thessalonians five and seventeen. Okay, it says pray without season. Okay, and that's all it says. But it's such an important, uh, uh, um, uh, important part of our, uh, 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 the word that we're pushing out here, Great Millstone. Okay, and some people don't do enough of it. It's just a fact. Okay, you can never pray enough. The most I ain't out there just like, look, I ain't, I'm scared of this, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm not scared of him, I'm, I'm not trying to hear from this dude anymore, man, he's complaining too much. That's not what the most I set up. Well, the more, the most I set up situation where you're supposed to be crying unto your about me outside, okay, so that you're going to be delivered from the situations that the most I put you in. <laughs> and if you are praying unto the most I, well, guess what? The most I is going to deliver you, but guess what? He's going to do it in his time. See, you can't force the most high. You can't force the hand of the most high. Okay, but, but the most high is going to get, get the job done when he, he wants to get the job done. That's why that's why the scripture that we read before said that, what? You're going you're to be steadfast, man. Okay, being patient. Okay, uh, uh, hoping. Okay, and really being uh, uh, steadfast in his truth, man. Like I said, it ain't a time for, 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 um, uh, uh, for feeble hands. Okay, um, let me search that scripture and we can really close out uh, this particular video. Uh, on that, I believe it's, it says feeble hands, okay, um, Isaiah 35, um, Isaiah 35 and 3 says, uh, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees, man, okay, I say to them that are fearful, uh, say to them that are fearful, uh, of a fearful heart, be strong, see, that's the spirit it's supposed to be in, being strong, Okay, fear not, behold, your power will come, right, uh, with vengeance, even the moral side, to recompense, and he will come and save you. So, if you really got your focus on the moral side coming to save, okay, coming to deliver, then, you know, the feeble hands ain't supposed to be so feeble. I mean, you might be catching hell at the job, but really, when you remember that the moral side is going to be avenging you pretty soon, you're supposed to be in a state of rejoicing. That's why, look, I'm, look, I ain't happy. But I'm of a good chair. Even the scripture says to be of good chair. Let me try to search it up because the, the hope the hope is here, man. Okay, be of good chair. Okay, the hope is here. You can see it manifesting. You know the end of uh, uh, um, Esau. 
Okay, you know, you know what his end is gonna be. Okay, so what's you know what's there to be uh, um what what's there uh what's there to be so uh down in the spirit about man? Okay, um. Now, really, I'm trying to find days of a particular one. Okay, that says it in a way. Um, like it's an instruction. Okay. Um, you know, I can't find it off the top, you know, off the top. Uh, you know, I read it somewhere. Um, pretty much, man, you know, you're supposed to be ho hoping in that the Most High is going to be coming soon. And that's supposed to make you glad. That's why it was known as, a, as the gospel. I'm not saying being, you know, really, you're supposed to be in a state of mourning. But we're in a state of mourning. But the hope is supposed to be, you know, uh, supposed to be uh, um, a comfort in you. That's why you have a comfort. That's, that's, the, that's the best way to put it. Okay, you are in a, we're in a state of mourning, but we got the comfort to comfort us, which is the scriptures, man. We're in we're in hell, but we got the comfort, man. So you, you ain't supposed to be down and out. But hey, if you want to complain, that's one thing. But to be down and out, that means to say that you've made a, a void. Okay, the the um the um the comfort that the Lord has sent. Okay, it, it's a comfort. What you do? What does a comfort do? It comforts you in a sorrowful situation. So you're in a sorrowful situation. You're supposed to be getting into these scriptures, being steadfast <laughs> and getting hyped up about what the Most High is finna to bring about in this place. Okay, so that really, hopefully, that was off edification. But I'm gonna say, oh praise unto you, Abbas, Shimi, Al Shaykh, Wahara, Kakadash, that will honestly unto the apostles a great millstone. Honestly, brothers, that be pushing this truth in sincerity for uh, uh, in sincerity, uh, for the four corners of the earth. Shalom.